Gary, we need to talk. I understand you're frustrated. There's a lot of things going on. But you're much further than you think you are. The struggle is where the money is. The money is in the struggle. So if you're struggling, you're making money. If you're struggling, you are money. Let me explain. And see, Gary, I'm coming at you like this for a reason. Because I know that you are about to fucking punk the fuck out like a scared little bitch. That's what you're about to do. Because you're struggling. Because it's fucking hard. Because it's taking more out of you than you want to give. And you're making all of these fucking excuses like a scared little bitch. That's what you're acting like. Just a little bitch. Oh, it's so hard. I don't want to do it. I just want to come home and just chill. And I don't want to work. And I don't want to put forth in the effort. But Gary, this is the fucking problem with that. This is the big ass, hairy ass, monkey ball problem with that. Hey, this is Glendon Cameron, founder of HustlersKungFu.com. Be sure to hit that first link below to get your free 19 business courses. Courses that will help you fix your credit, combat child support, build a business, learn how to think like a boss, and so much more. Links below. Grab it now. Gary, we need to talk. I know you're struggling. I know there's some stuff that's going down. You're a little frustrated. You want it to happen now. But the money is in the struggle. If you're struggling, you're money. Many people don't understand that. You're looking at the end result as if that's the process. The process is struggle. The money is struggle. If you're struggling, you're money. I've got a lot of people that have some misconceptions about success, Gary. There are many people such as yourself who think that if you work for a month or two or three, 90 days, maybe 120 days, and you're not where you want to be, that something's wrong. That perhaps you're on the wrong path. Perhaps you made a mistake. Perhaps it's, it's a scam. Now, I've been observing some things with some clients of mine, Gary, and I've been observing some things with people in general. Many people give up at the first friction point. Knock 75% of the people out the frame, Gary, just, just out of there. Then for those, the 25% who stay, that second friction point knocks out about 20% of them. Well, no, about 90% of them. That second friction point knocks out 90%. Then when you start getting down to what's left, once we get into that real, that rough, raw and rugged, there's only a few people left standing. Because see, this is the thing, Gary. Many people have bamboozled you, led you astray, and have you thinking that success is instantaneous. Success is a bitch. Success is a war. Success is a battle. Success is a struggle. Success is fucking hard. If this whole notion of you think that you're going to change your life without changing who you are as a person, you're sadly mistaken, Gary. It's not going to happen because if you, the way that you are right now, was good enough to get what you want, you would fucking have it. Since you don't have it, you're not good enough yet. See, this is the thing, Gary. We have a nation of people who think that success should be easy, that they're believing into these myths this dream, this fantasy that they're going to and there will be their success. Now, success is, is rough. Success is like training for a race. Say you're a runner, right? Say you, you're out there on the track. You're running in your neighborhood every morning. You're on that track. You're on that road. You're on that path. 
day in, day out. Gary, that is success. Many people think success is running their race and winning it. But it's not success. It's not even close to success. And I'm going to explain why. When you are training, you are on a consistent process of improving who you are. You're running. You're building endurance. You're losing weight. You're getting stronger. You're conditioning yourself. Now, why are you doing that? Because if the race, Gary, was success, why do you need to train? Why do you need to train, playboy? Why do you need to be out there in the rain, in the sleet, in the mud, the snow, training for that race in the spring? Because you're not good enough to run that race right now. But this is commonly accepted. No one sits around and pitches a pity party of, well, you know, I can't run 24 miles now. No, you just understand that you're deficient. You understand that you're not in shape. You understand that your muscles aren't ready. Your mind isn't ready. Your feet are not ready. So you get out there and you train. You fucking train. And that is the success. Not the race or winning the race. The race is just a metric that measures how well your training, your success prep worked. But it was every day out there running was your success. Not to see Gary, I'm coming at you like this for a reason. Because I know that you are about to fucking punk the fuck out like a scared little bitch. That's what you're about to do because you're struggling because it's fucking hard because it's taking more out of you than you want to give. And you're making all of these fucking excuses like a scared little bitch. That's what you're acting like. Just a little bitch. Oh, it's so hard. I don't want to do it. I just want to come home and just chill. And I don't want to work and I don't want to put forth in the effort. But Gary, this is the fucking problem with that. This is the big ass, hairy ass, monkey ball problem with that. After you throw yourself a pity party and you get over yourself and the sun rises the next day, you're going to start to complain. You're going to start to bitch. See, that's the manifest manifestation of your own dis personal disgust at your bitch ass for giving up. So what's going to happen is that disgust and that disappointment is going to matriculate into hate and bitchy behavior and you being unhappy when someone else is recognizing a metric of their success. You're going to be one of those slack mouth people who are just talking about saying fucked up things like sure must be nice. Wish I had it like that. Man, you know, you got lucky. See, that's scared little bitch talk. Because, see, this is the thing. When you're happy, when you're engaged, when you're making things happen, whether they are grand leaps or like the norm, incremental success. An inch of success is still forward progress and that is normal you get an inch here you get six inches here you get a foot here then you have a day where you get fucking yard or you you you, you have a day where oh shit it's like you're out there on that track and it's effortless you catch that runner's high you're just going and you go further than you ever went because you have prepared your mind your body your feet your legs and you are doing it because you were successful 90 days ago when you started. You were successful two years ago when you started training consistently. But when you give up because it's too fucking hard, you've had some setbacks, maybe you had a little injury and you couldn't run and you had to go back out there and start all over, Gary. You had to start all over. But see, due to muscle memory and conditioning, you will get you get back to where you were much quicker. 
But the longer you sit on your ass and bitch and whine about how easy it is for other people, Gary, speaking that bitch language of, oh, it sure must be nice. Oh, they got lucky. They knew somebody. All of these things that don't really matter in your sphere of influence because you can't control what someone else got. You can't control what someone else happened to luck into. People get lucky. It happens. But you can't predicate your misery and lack of inactivity, your lack of action, your lack of gumption, your lack of bravery, your lack of fucking heart on what someone else got or didn't get. That's fucking shit is on you, Gary. And I'm saying, Gary, if you want to fucking pump out, you want to tap the fuck out like some little bitch because it's a little hard, then understand you will stop being successful the minute that you tap the fuck out. I understand you can have a bad day. You can have a bad week. You can have a bad month. But if you've got bad years, it's you. Because you, re you refuse to revise, adjust, and, and change. Like I said, if the way that you are right now, here in this present moment was good enough to get you what you wanted, you would have it. And if you don't have it, that is evidence that you need to train harder. That's evidence that you need to prepare harder. It's evidence that you need to get your ass out there on that track. Go ahead and knock on one more door, make one more fucking phone call, make one more approach to that chick, uh, stay open later, open or you need to fucking put out. Not, it's so hard. It's so, Gary, you're looking like a bitch. You sound like a bitch. You smell like a bitch. Do you want bitch cologne all over your body? Whenever you walk in the room, everybody's like, there's something about Gary and it ain't nice. It's not nice. Do you want that? If you don't want that, I highly suggest you keep going. That's right. You keep going. You keep pushing. You keep fucking punching. Because one day you're going to look up and your legs are going to be all nothing but muscle and your calves are all tight. You're going to look down. That belly's gone. And you're going to look up and like, damn, you finished that marathon. You're going to look back and you're going to see a whole bunch of people coming behind you. You're going to be like, damn. And you're just like, oh, shit. I'm in that special group where I get to run with the real runners now. That's progress. That's success. That's effort. That's where it is. That's where it lives. Success lives in the process of struggle, hardships, bullshit. You got to get over yourself, Gary. You got to get over yourself. Shit's not going to get any easier. There's going to be more competitors. The economy is going to go in another recession. Uh, there's going to be more people trying to do what you're doing. And the question is, are you going to fight or are you just going to bitch out? What you going to do, Gary? Are you a man or are you just a scared little bitch? That's a question only you ultimately can answer. That's all I'm saying. So if you don't want to be a little scared little bitch and you don't want to tap the fuck out and you own a business and you want to make more money, call that number. I'll call you back and we can work on the process of your success. We can start grooming you for bigger and better things in the future. That's what we can do. And if you're not ready for all of that, be sure to get the free 19 courses. The link's below. You can change your life. If you do the work, you'll get results. If you do the work. All right, this is Glendon. Hopefully, I'll see you at the finish line, Gary. And if not, I know what the fuck happened.